today I'm going to be playing with the career of Tyree Kill, but after every season, he's going to be switching to a new team. And I mean, I think it's pretty obvious at this point, Tyree Kill is by far the best wide receiver in this league. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does when he goes to a new team. But anyways, obviously in the first season, he's on the Miami Dolphins. And I mean, obviously that Dolphins offense is pretty loaded right now. I mean, I wouldn't say this team is Super Bowl favorites or anything like that, but at the very least, this team should be making the playoffs. I mean, it looks like we had one hell of a season to start things off, going 12-5 and five to win the division, and we're going to be playing the Chargers in the wildcard round. And no surprise, our boy Tyree Kill had one hell of a season with 1,200 yards for eight touchdowns. But it looks like we're going to get the dub against the Chargers, so now we play the Ravens in the divisional round. I mean, obviously, this Dolphins team is pretty loaded. With that being said, said though i think it's pretty clear that we are the underdogs in this game because obviously the ravens are 10 times better i mean we all saw what happened last time miami played baltimore i mean hopefully we can flip the script here considering we have tyreek hill i mean obviously we have a decent chance at winning this game but i mean still man that ravens defense is absolutely terrifying to look at and we're getting smoked by roquan smith i'm just gonna keep it on the ground after that and hopefully we can make up some yardage but i mean so far throwing the ball really has okay okay Mostert is gone that's almost a first so it looks like running the ball honestly might be a secret weapon for us because Mostert's going off already but we have been getting rushed every time we've tried to throw it like we've had no time to get the ball off this time it's a different story that's a first from Waddle I really want this play to work with Tyree Kill because if it does there's a very good chance this goes for a touchdown but I feel like it's probably okay yeah we're just not gonna try that I'm going for the tight end either way that's a huge pickup so after that play i mean 16 yards to go and we're in for a touchdown i'm gonna try and go for tyree kill here if he's locked up, I might. Oh, that's really dangerous. I'm going to go for this anyways. Actually, Tua wouldn't let go of the ball. We're getting sacked again. I really tried to get to Tyreek there. I feel like that probably would have worked out too. But for some reason, Tua just wouldn't let go of the football. So now we've dug ourselves a bit of a hole. But either way, it looks like we are going to get a touchdown with Jalen Waddle. So that is going to give us the lead first. I mean, when you're going up against Lamar Jackson, that lead probably is not going to last. We're coming back out here in the third quarter though i mean no surprise that lead did not last we're down by 10 points right now but i mean if we score here since we're only in the third quarter obviously that would put us right back in this game it looks like the run game honestly might be getting shut down now though so i'm gonna put in the air this time and hopefully we can find Tyreek Hill. That is going to be dangerous. I show kept. Yeah, I rushed that off. And it looks like it's going right to Hamilton for a pick six. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that that one is going to put the game away. I mean, just hear me out. I was getting rushed. So I was just worried about getting a ball off. And I was trying to get a first down at the same time. So I thought I'd try and go for Tyreek Hill. I mean, to be fair, he was open when I threw the ball. But since two was a lefty, that was kind of like a recipe for disaster to begin with and that's gonna be another interception because waddle got held up i mean this team just made me look trash at madden to be completely honest with you i mean that ravens team is obviously no joke man we got absolutely annihilated so obviously we're going home but anyways to end off year number one no surprise patrick mahomes has won mvp and it looks like the cowboys ended up taking down the ravens in the super bowl but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number two and this season it looks like hill ended up signing with with the Houston Texans. And I mean, this team is actually looking very promising. CJ Stroud's gone all the way up to an 87 overall. I mean, that should definitely help out our case. And I mean, since we have Tyreek Hill now, I'd say Stroud and Tyreek should be a crazy duo. So I'm thinking this team should make the playoffs. I mean, as you can see, the Texans actually went off this season, going 13 and four to win the division and get the number one seed. I mean, I knew this team was gonna be good, but I did not think that the number one seed seed was going to be a possibility this season but anyways Tyreek Hill had 791 yards for eight touchdowns this season and it looks like we got to play the nine and eight chargers in the divisional round and it looks like we're going to get the win so now we play Joe Shiesty in the Bengals for a trip to the Super Bowl I mean I did not think that this team was going to be this overpowered but one thing I've learned from watching the Texans this season is that you do not want to bet against CJ Stroud I mean now that Tyreek Hill is on this team 
I think there's a decent chance that CJ Stroud actually goes out and wins MVP this season. That's going to be a first down from Hill. Got to make sure I redeem myself from the last game here because that was terrible against the Baltimore Ravens. So hopefully this time I can actually go out and get the dub. I mean, that's almost another first down from Pierce. Bengals did bring up a third down after that though. So I'm going to hand it off to Kareem Hunt, who is apparently on the Texans now. And hopefully he can pick up a first down for us. It looks like we got that. I'm going to try and go for a shot after that though. I mean, if Tyreek's locked up, we can go for Tank Dell, who is also obviously a very solid player. And it looks like that is going to work out for a touchdown. So the Texans are going to get on the board first here. I'm hoping we can play like this all game. Because, I mean, so far, this team has looked pretty unstoppable this season. We're coming back out here in the third quarter, though. I mean, no surprise. It looks like Joe Shiesty will not be going out without a fight. We're all tied up at 24 right now. That's another solid run from Pierce, though. I mean, the run game's honestly been working a lot better than I expected it to today. The Bengals did bring up a third down after that, though. So, I mean, we really need this play to work. And it looks like we're getting another first down. The way that Joe shiesty has been playing, today though i mean i think it goes without saying that we really need to make sure that we put points on the board this drive because i mean it seems like that guy has oh we're getting sacked i mean i had a feeling hendrickson was going to be a problem at some point and that goes for an eight yard loss so now it's second and 18 that is gonna make up for it though it looks like tank dell was wide open seems like they kind of forgot about him there because i mean the dude was just wide open so i mean 35 yards to go now and we are in for a touchdown at the very least we're at Okay, give me that. That actually might work out. That's going to be it. Okay, just like that. That's another touchdown from Tank Dell, which is going to put the Texans up by a touchdown. But I mean, with all the time that's left on the clock, I do not think this game is anywhere close to being over. But after that, I mean, it looks like we did end up clutching things up for the dub. So that's going to send the Houston Texans to the Super Bowl. But anyways, to end off year number two, it looks like Dak Prescott ended up winning MVP. And it looks like the Texans are going to be playing the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Seattle is another one of those teams that you do not want to sleep on. So I feel like this should actually be a really solid game. They have a very solid defense as well, if you haven't already noticed. But we are going to find Tank Dell. No way we're going to bring this back to the house. I did not think we were going to get that much open field. But it looks like he is not going to be getting caught. So I mean, that's a pretty explosive way to start off the Super Bowl. One play in and the Texans already have the lead. So, I mean, if we can keep that momentum, we might roll past Seattle. Coming back out here with two minutes left before halftime, though. I mean, no surprise Seattle has gone ahead and tied things up. So, we're all knotted at 14 right now. Okay, Stroud actually has some legs on him. That's going to be a first down and some. I thought we were going to get sacked on that play. I mean, obviously, I knew that CJ Stroud could run, but he is faster than I expected him to be. So that is going to be a plus for us. And it looks like we're going to find Collins for another first down. I mean, as long as we can find Tyreek Hill here and not throw an interception, I think we should be good. And it looks like we are going to get him wide open for the touchdown. So that's going to put the tech up by a touchdown once again i mean we're coming back out here with two minutes left in the fourth quarter as you can see things are not looking too good for us right now i don't know what happened at halftime but it seems like the seahawks just started taking steroids because ever since then they have been on an absolute tear i mean look at the score we're getting demolished right now they brought up a third down after that sack as well so i mean now it's third and 16 obviously this is fourth down territory that should work out. Oh, that's going to be really close. No way it's batted away. So, I mean, just like that, the game is now on the line. I don't know if you guys have realized this, but the defense is playing 10 times better in the second half. They are actually putting up one hell of a fight right now. I don't know if that's going to work out, but ta, it's off target. That's going to be game. So that is going to be another heartbreaker for Tyreek Hill in the playoffs. I mean, even worse, this was the Super Bowl. I mean, to be fair, even if we scored a touchdown on that last drive, I don't think it would have made a difference. I did not expect Seattle to be this good, but apparently they were on an absolute mission this season. So as you can see, to end off year number two, Geno Smith and the Seattle Seahawks are going to be hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number three. It looks like this year, Tyreek is going to Denver. And I mean, honestly, this team actually isn't looking too bad. Somehow, Huntley's gone up to an 85 overall after a fresh start. Didn't expect to see him as the starting quarterback or as an 85 overall. But I mean, hopefully him and Tyreek Hill can 
can send this team to the playoffs. I mean, it looks like the Broncos did have a pretty solid season going 11 and 6. Chiefs won the division though, and we play the Dolphins in the wild card round. But it looks like Tyreek Hill kind of redeemed himself this season. I mean, the guy had 1,200 yards for 11 touchdowns. But it looks like we are going to sneak out with the dub against Miami. So now we play the Jags in the divisional round. I mean, we do start with the ball here. So hopefully we can score on our first drive here. But I mean, that Jags team is a lot better than they used to be. Even though they were already good, they are 10 times better now. So it is going to be very difficult to sneak out of this one with a dub. But I mean, with Tyreek Hill on the team, obviously that's very doable. And Huntley has some legs on him. That's a first down. I gotta say though, I mean, this guy used to be the backup on the Ravens for Lamar Jackson. And apparently after a fresh start, he's gone all the way up to an 86 overall now after that season. I did not expect him to be as good as he is, but I mean, honestly, good for him. I don't know what the hell happened to Wilson though. I mean, I'm assuming he's either retired or he's like a backup somewhere because obviously that guy is kind of washed at this point. Anyways, so far this seems like it's actually been a pretty solid drive. I'm gonna try and go back Back to Tyreek here. He's also a superstar now. If you haven't noticed, he has lost his X Factor. I'm just gonna keep this on the ground. That's another first. I'm not gonna lie, man. Huntley is actually playing a whole lot better than I expected him to. So hopefully he can just keep doing what he's been doing so far. Tyreek, get there. That's almost a touchdown. So, I mean, after that play, we're only two yards short of a score. I'm just going to keep it on the ground if Williams here, and hopefully he doesn't get shut down behind the line. We're in for the touchdown. So, that's going to give the Broncos the lead first. I don't know how long that's going to last for, because Lawrence has been on a mission this season, but we do have the lead for now. We're coming back out here in the fourth quarter. I mean, surprisingly enough, this game is still tied up. We're all knotted at 21 right now, and with three minutes on the clock okay that's a bad play we're getting smoked by allen as i was gonna say before all of that though i mean if we can get a touchdown here that will definitely help our chances of winning this game i mean we could also just run the clock out and hopefully a field goal would do it tyreek's almost got the first down there i mean at this point i just gotta make sure we don't make any bad decisions and we should be on to the afc championship game which is honestly a lot better than i thought this team would have done this season williams is gone and another plus for this broncos team i mean the chiefs somehow got beat out in the first round i can't remember who they played but i'm just happy we don't need to see him because i mean that team did beat us twice in the regular season clock's gone all the way down to a minute and 26 seconds though so i mean i just gotta make sure we take as much time off the clock as we can and hopefully oh dude that is a killer we're gonna get sacked and we lost the ball i mean things were looking so promising for us too before that happened but that was a crucial mistake from huntley which is gonna end our season but anyways to end off year number three no surprise patrick Mahomes has won another MVP. And for the second time today, the Cowboys are going to take down the Ravens in the Super Bowl. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number four, which is going to be the final season of this video. And to end things off, it looks like Hill signed with the Carolina Panthers. But I mean, four years into the future, this team actually looks pretty solid. I mean, that Panthers lineup is actually built to make the playoffs. So hopefully they can go off with Tyreek Hill this season. I mean, it looks like the Panthers actually had a very very good season going 14 and 3 to win the division and get the number one seed so it looks like carolina has really turned things around in the last four seasons but anyways he'll finish the year with a thousand yards for eight touchdowns and it looks like we're going to be playing the cardinals in the divisional round and as you can see the cardinals got smoked so now we play the lions for a trip to the super bowl i feel like detroit is going to be putting up one hell of a fight today i mean that defense has got a lot better over the years but anyways we did hold them to a field goal so we're only down three nothing right now and it looks like Tyreek Hill is gonna bring that one in I'm actually really impressed over how much Bryce Young has improved I mean honestly I stand by it I'm not even a Panthers fan everyone's saying this guy's a bust but I think anyone would be a bust if your team was built like they are I mean honestly if the Panthers can get some weapons for this guy and get an actual decent O-line I feel like Bryce Young should be able to bring this team to the playoffs that 
is gonna be a terrible play. So that backs us up a yard. I'm just gonna try and go for more here and hopefully he can pick up the first down. If not, we're probably gonna be giving the ball up here. That should work out. We're gonna find more for the first down. So that keeps the drive alive. I'm gonna try and end it off right here with Tyreek Hill. I mean, this play looks kind of dangerous. If he's locked up though, I should be able to go for more actually. Nobody's on him. That's gonna be a huge play, but he got popped. Apparently, Brian Branch is standing on business today. That was a huge hit. I'm hoping we can get a first down here. If not, we honestly might be getting held to a field goal after that. But it looks like we're going to find Moore, who is going to sneak in for the touchdown. So that's going to put the Panthers on the board. And better yet, that's going to give us the lead. So we're up 7-3 right now. Coming back out here in the third quarter, though, we are up 14-13 right now. So we barely have the lead, but we do have the lead. So if we score a touchdown here, that will would really help out our case i'm going for it on third and one by the way i know i should probably just run the ball but i'm gonna go for it on fourth down if this play doesn't work out actually i'm just gonna keep it on the ground of young because i feel like that throw would have got shut down we also have jk dobbins now which is honestly a pretty solid pickup for the panthers i'm gonna hand it off to him and see if he can get a first down for us that's not the best run in the world actually that's pretty solid not gonna complain about a five yard pickup i'm gonna try and go back for tyreek here though because i mean obviously he is by far the best player on this team if we can get him going oh my god we are gonna be a tough team to beat i mean after another huge play from mr hill 25 yards to go and we're in i'm gonna try and go back for him here he is going to be wide open too. And it looks like we are going to stay up through the contact for the touchdown. So that's going to put the Panthers up by eight points. Going for the two point conversion is very tempting. Actually, I'm going to do that. I know this is kind of dangerous. I mean, if we didn't go for the two point conversion, we'd be up by eight points either way. But we have a chance to make it a two score game right now. So obviously, I'm going to try that. It looks like it's not going to be working out in our favor, though. But I mean, either way, it looks like we were able to close the game out after that the lions made things very close but somehow the carolina panthers out of all teams are headed to the super bowl but anyways to end off year number four it looks like josh allen ended up winning mvp and apparently we got to play the pittsburgh steelers in the super bowl this season i'm really hoping we can actually get the job done this time because obviously last time tyreek was in the super bowl he took a very disappointing loss we are also down seven nothing right now dobbins come on but either Either way this is going to be another very difficult game to win i mean the steelers have a 91 overall defense right now which is pretty terrifying to think about and young's getting smoked so that really backs us up i'm gonna try and go for more here and hopefully he's not locked up if he is we are in serious danger of going down by two scores but it looks like that is an absolute dot to a wide open more for a huge pickup i just gotta play it safe from here on out i mean i'm really just trying not to do too much here i gotta keep it on the ground this time come on young get going that actually might go for a touchdown what a run from bryce young that was actually ridiculous i mean he definitely earned that one dude's running like lamar jackson right now so that right there is gonna tie the game up we're coming back out here in the third quarter though it has been one hell of a game so far we're up 21 to 20 right now so it is very close once again Tyree Kill is going to be wide open, though. So that is another first down. Going to keep it on the ground of Dobbins after that, though. I mean, Dobbins has actually been playing pretty well so far today. So hopefully he can keep doing what he's been doing. That is not the best pickup. But to be fair, we still got more yardage and we probably should have on that play. I'm going to try and go for more again here, who is once again wide open for another first down. So 35 yards to go and we're in. I'm going to try and go back to Tyree Kill on this play. I feel like he honestly might be locked up, so we might... Never mind. Hold on. That's going to work out. And I'm pretty sure Young got smoked. I mean, after the roughing the passer call, that does bring it all the way to the 13-yard line. I'm going to try and go back to this play of Hill. I mean, he's got nothing but open field. So it looks like that's going to be another touchdown. So that's going to put us up by eight points. But once again, I'm going to try for the two-point conversion. Obviously, this did not work against Detroit, but I'm hoping it can be a different story here. Because if we do get a two-point conversion to work, we are going to going to be up by two scores but once again we're getting smoked either way i mean after that it looks like this team went on an absolute tear we racked up 43 points on the steel
Steelers 91 overall defense. I really didn't think the Panthers would be the team that Tyreek was going to win another Super Bowl with, but apparently that's what's happening. I mean, they earned it. That team was on an absolute tear this season. The Panthers were a whole lot better than I thought they would have been, but as you can see, Bryce Young and the Carolina Panthers are going to be hoisting a Lombardi trophy to end off this video. That's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. And if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.